In this video, we're going to cover the strategy that I use to overcome chest resistance. Please stay to the end because I have two queen traps for you to look at at the end of this video. And I'm going to be going from puzzles to daily games to 10 minute blitz. And that, that's my, what I do when I sit down for a session at chess. And my problem is I'm so terrified of losing, I can't really stand it. And I got to get over that because I want to increase my ELO. So I've increased uh, quite a bit since I uh, started back chess here uh, six months or, or ago or nine, whatever it was. And so it's coming along, but not. I, I wanted to go better. And so I'm, I'm taking some lessons on uh, chess.com. I won't cover those right now. And I'm, I'm looking at lots of videos to improve my game. But this is my actual gameplay that I use to improve my game when I go. So first of all, I you know go to my home chess. And I have four daily games that are ready for a move. And then I have some puzzles and etc. So I'm going to start with a couple of puzzles. And uh, this is... Uh, I'm not sure you can see it all that well white to move. There we go. I guess you can see it. All right. So I have to look at this and I have to decide what in the world I'm going to do. White is going to move. And the funny part about puzzles is they often look just like one of my games. It's like thinking, well, this is annoying. So I think that um, I could take with the knight. So that's my first thought. Take with the knight. Or I could take this. Uh, so I could take either one of those. But the, the reason I like this is because this here is pinned uh, with the rook against the king. So I think if I take with the knight, I can I can put the king in checkmate. So if I take here and then he takes and I take, I believe that's checkmate because both of the all three of these squares will be uh, you know in check where the king is, etc. So let's give that a try and see if uh, see if that works for the puzzles. That when it gives a green, that's a good sign. So here is, well, it wasn't checkmate. Oh, look at that. So it isn't checkmate. So what am I going to do now? So I have one more move to make to get my points for this uh, for this puzzle. And so I can move this here any way I want. I can move this here. Well, that wouldn't be any good. The, the, the knight is out of play. I think if I move my rook here, but he has moves he can make here. Wow, I don't know what the best move is. You can use a little cheater button if you want, which I do quite a, quite a bit. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to move here. Let's see if it turns red or green. It turned green. Huh. So now what? I have one more move to make. I can't go here. Because if I go there, he'll just take it, and that won't be any good. Um, I could take that. I don't think that's any good. Wow, I don't know what to do. So I'm going to take this out. Forget that. Uh, forget this. You can't do anything. Uh, this is the only thing we can move, and we have several different options to move to cause trouble. So... All right, I'm going to go here see if it turns green or red. It turned red. That was incorrect. How annoying is that? So that was the wrong move. So uh, so I need to get this smaller, I guess, where you can see more. I don't really have it where I need it to be where you can see everything. That's kind of frustrating. Anyway, so uh, then I'm going to say, well, where else should I go? There is a, uh, down here somewhere, a hint. I may use the hint. Well, let's try some other things. Let's try this. This looks ridiculous. That's incorrect. And so that's incorrect. Uh, that's incorrect. Man, I may have to resort to a hint. All right, so uh, let's go down here. Actually, you have to see the whole board, don't you? I don't have it uh, positioned as well as I should. All right, so this is the whole board. There we go. Well, you can't really see what I'm doing, though. All right, great. All right, so that's that. So let's go down and resort to a hint and see what in the world that we're supposed to do. So here's the hint. is to move this. So I guess we could move it here. Oh, wow, that's crazy. So why is that a good thing? 
So now he moved here. So he's gonna he's gonna so if I take, he'll take. So let's just go ahead and do that. That's still green and green. Okay, what a puzzle that was. How frustrating is that? So when I get a puzzle like that, I go over it one more time now that I know the moves. So we're going to uh, we're gonna take and we're gonna take and uh, we're going to take and we're going to go here and he goes there and we take and then we take. So uh, that's the puzzle. So that was a, a hard one and uh, kind of annoying in, in some ways. <laughs> it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, but oh well, it is what it is, right? Okay, so let's do another one. So the next one is um, black to move. So let's see what I can do. I can put him in check here or put him in check here. So, so I think if I put him in check here, that takes care of this square. These squares are all taken care of. This is taken care of. All these. So I think that'll be checkmate. So if I go here, it should turn green and it should be checkmate. And that's correct, etc. at the end. So let's go to the next one. All right, so this is white to move. So if I go here, it pushes the king either way. He should go over here. He could go there, but that wouldn't be very smart, I don't think. Oh, wait. I forgot that. Look at that. If I go here, it'll be checkmate. Because this bishop, and a weakness of mine is diagonals, actually finding diagonals on the board. And so the uh, the bishop protects that square, so if I ruck, it will be checkmate. It is. So I have trouble recognizing those in, in real life. And so many of these puzzles look just like a real life game. It's insane. One more. Then we'll go play the da daily games. Black to move. So I can go here and sacrifice a queen. That might be fun. Let's see. I don't think that's a good way to go. I go here and sacrifice a bishop. That's no good. All right, I can go here. And then the next move will be there. And I think he's checkmate. I'm not sure he can do anything about that. That's all I see. Y'all see anything else? <laughs> I could ask my cat. You know, I, I have this little, uh, my uh, my son gave me this when he was little. He used to not, uh, he wanted to give me gifts. He's 15 now. And so when he was like three, he gave me this gift. And I, I kind of keep it around. And uh, so I kind of look over there for, uh, you know, think about my son when I look at that. All right, so what should I do? I'm going to go ahead and do this here. It's green. That's good. And so we have one more move to make. Uh, what move did uh, White make? I think he moved uh, a pawn down. I'm not sure. Then I'm going to... Uh, oh, that's correct. That's it. Oh, we're done. If you're smart enough to move here, you're smart enough to be done. All right, great. So now let's go back to Chess Home. And let's go to the Daily Games. And there's a Daily Game. Man, it's just got a lot of space on the board here. So I'm not sure how the best way to, uh, to do this is. There we go. Let's put it that way, I suppose. There we go. It gives you a little more space to see. All right. So here we go. Uh, this is Brooding Tree. This is one of my grandsons. And we try to play a game. Uh, we try to always have a running game going and sometimes play. So I, I'm really trying to learn Carol Khan. And if I understand right, you're supposed to wait till they take and then you take and then you put your knight up. So until something fun happens here, you could go here and challenge this pawn, which uh, which kind of splits up the pawn thing a little bit. Uh which might be cool, might give you more control of the board. Uh, but I think that instead, I'm just going to go here and move my knight up. I like a little conservative play now and then. I'm going to do that, and then I'm probably going to get my bishop out. Although, um, although once I do this exchange here like that, like that, then this queen can come here and put me in check. And then I have to have something to do with this knight or whatever to make sure that uh, that I can overcome that check because it, in my mind, my simple way of thinking, it's pretty dangerous. So normally I would move this out if I was really doing conservative play and then move this up and then, you know, attack that square or whatever. But with trying to play the Carol Khan, I don't think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move this up here and uh, I don't see anything else. Oh, yeah. I always intend to ask checks, captures, and threats. What can I put in check? Nothing. What can put me in check? Well, I went through that. This queen can put me in check in, in a couple of moves. It'd be pretty easy for her to put me in check. 
uh, wouldn't take a lot. So that is uh, an issue. Uh, and then threats. What threats do I have? Well, you know, I, I could, I could, I could capture this. I could go here. I don't want to, because if I do that, this is going to come down here, and I go there, and I'll, he'll be encroaching on my territory. I don't want to do that. I don't want to allow this pawn to advance, which is probably a good reason to put this pawn up here. I don't know, but I'm not going to be that aggressive. Uh, but anyway, checks, captures, threats. And just look at the board. Just look at the whole board. For me, I'm weak about finding diagonals. I leave pieces hanging all the time. There we go. So I'll, I'll make my ugly mug um, top notch here. So now I can do this. All right, so now uh, we have the whole screen display. Not quite. Let's uh, let's get this over. So you got the whole chessboard. And uh, you got everything else going on here. So let's uh, let's make this maybe a little, little uh, more like that. All right. Bear with me as we get this all figured out here. All right, so now we have, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That locks in that move. Now the next one, which is um, uh, Mr. Alstrom, uh, a friend of mine here in Warland. So we talked about this uh, this game. This game's been kind of interesting. He's, he's you know, higher than me. He's 1245, and for daily games, I'm only 858. I'm, you know, in the 900s for the 10 minute games, which I love to play and try to limit myself to three a day. So let's just go back a few moves. So we had all this stuff going on and um, he's just putting pressure on this pawn here. We had more stuff. There we go. So I had some things going on and I, I tried to make some moves. I thought I would threaten his queen. And so he went there to threaten my knight. And so I went here and I thought that he would have to um, take with my I thought he would do this, and then I would do that, and would protect my knight. He wouldn't. I'd be a hero. He, of course, is smarter than that. And so he took my knight with his queen, which left me in a bad way. So I had to move my queen out of the way. But and this left this pawn is going to get in trouble. So uh, he castled, which is you know I, I can't castle yet. I've got you know two moves away from castling. So I get my knight out of the way so that I can ready myself to castle. So now he's getting two rooks on this square i only have one it's like oh good grief what's going to happen i could move my rook here and protect it but then he has a queen and then i have nothing else i can do so it's frustrating so i thought you know what i need a breather i need need some space so i put my uh i put my rook here to protect because if you've got two things if you've got two defenders on a square and there's two attackers the defender has the um the advantage because if he takes I take and he takes and I take and so he loses two rooks to my one rook so he's obviously not going to do that he's like he's a really good player a lot of fun to play with he's actually our our, um, our druggist here in town and that's not the word it's uh, whatever We're, he owns a pharmacy at any rate so um here we go so the next thing I do is I uh, he goes here which is so frustrating because not only is he going to get my pawn He's going to kick my queen. So instead, I move my queen up here, and that puts him in check. He has to move out of check, and then I castle. So I'm so excited. And I went to pick up a script yesterday, and I, this is where we were yesterday. He said, I can't believe you got that done. I said, yeah, you're really bad. I mean, wonderful player. And he laughed and everything. So it was fun. And I said, he said, why did you do that? And uh, I, I said, well, because uh, because I'm gonna I'm going to secretly team up two of my pieces on your king and I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Well, he puzzled his brain. I was just making that up as I went. Anyway, so finally he took that. So now I have a, a, a choice to make. So I could what could I do? So it's really like it's really like a puzzle. And uh, so he took my pawn. And so I could take and he would take. So that would be one thing I could do, but um, let's see. Next thing you could do is is take my pawn with this queen. I'm just in a world of hurt, so I could advance this pawn. Or oh, if he takes and I take, well, right now he that wouldn't be good at all. That's not good at all. So we're we're in trouble. So really, the only thing I can do is take. I don't know. I could put this knight up here and continue development. That wouldn't protect this pawn. All right. So if I if I take here, and he takes, that's good. 
And then if I if I move this pawn up, then I can start advancing this pawn. Then I can put this here, and then I can maybe have some fun, not sure exactly what. Let's make sure this is going to work. I take, and he takes. Okay, so he's causing me trouble. So if I advance this pawn, he's going to move this over here. If I move this over here, I get two defenders on it. That's good. I still have my king protected. I have these three pawns. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to take. All right, next game. The History Professor. I don't really know who this guy is, but we started playing games together. He's also more highly rated than me. So it inspires me to do uh, better gameplay. So I've got my queen and my bishop lined up on this pawn. I kind of wanted to do something with that. Not sure what. So I could advance this, uh, this pawn up here. And then caught either you know he'd take and then of course he has two uh, uh, defenders on that pawn so uh, actually I do too I would have my knight in my deal so so he probably wouldn't take it because if he if he took it I would take it. no that's not a good plan not a good plan so I could do this I don't have a really fun thing to do so if I go here. Puts pressure on his knight. I can't take here. So what else can I capture? There's really not a lot of things I can do. So I can just play conservatively. Uh, I kind of like going. I kind of like uh, going up here. No, that leaves this knight defenseless. Never mind. Not a good plan. So this one can go here. Nothing fun for that. I could advance this pawn. Not sure what that does for me. Although if I put my well, I want no, I want to keep my I want to keep my rook here. I'd love to advance this pawn. So I could just go here. And then if he doesn't do anything. That, and then I could go here, and he would have to protect this pawn. And I could go there and possibly fork a couple of pieces. No, this knight is protected by that knight. So that's no good. He's, he's really he's done well. I don't have anything that I can do that's a lot of fun. I think I'll just put this pawn up. Uh, that'll open this whole side of the board, and maybe I can uh, accomplish something that way. I don't know. So we'll just do that. That's not real conservative, but it's uh, it's not horrible either. And if he doesn't take it, I, I'm, I'll probably just go ahead and push it twice, locking this pawn in place, and then figure out a way to take it, I think. I don't know. Let's just put this up, and let's go and uh, and run with it. See what happens with the history professor. And this one, uh, Fathak, I'm not sure how to say that, uh, from India. He's really good. He's, uh, you know, a, th a thousand. So what, what are the moves that led up to this? All right. He forked my bishop and and so i i did what i thought was hopefully a smart move uh he forked my queen and my bishop boy was i sad about that i just didn't see it that's the kind of thing that irritates me that i don't see I always want to be looking for, for you know for things that could happen so now i i go here and so he can't take my bishop now my bishop doesn't have a fun place to go okay it can go there you know, it has one place it can go, and that's it right there. So I can I can go there, but when I go there, he can take it with his knight. So I don't really have a fun thing I can do with my <laughs> my bishop anyway. So that is very frustrating. Um, so I just not sure what to do with my poor bishop. So what I can do is. If I if I if I threaten his knight, which is unprotected, if he moves his knight out of the way, whatever, my bishop is still in trouble. He can go there, but but I think that it would save my bishop. I'm not certain of that. Uh, if of course I could go here or there against that knight, and I'm really uh, really thinking more of going here than the other place. All right, so if I if I go ahead and uh, threaten his knight, 
He takes, of course, he is actually here. If I threaten his knight, then uh, he takes my bishop, and I take his knight, I take his knight, and then he takes my knight. So I still lose two pieces. So it just doesn't look like a decent thing for me to do. Uh, it's just not a decent thing. So I think that I will go ahead and we're going to go here. And we are going to count it as good. All right, so that's my daily games. So now I've done some puzzles. I've done some uh, daily games. I've done some thinking. I've got myself thinking about, you know, uh, checks, captures, and threats. And so now I'm ready to do a 10-minute game. Oh, my goodness. What will happen? I usually exercise a little bit, you know, get some blood flow because I've been sitting here a while. And I might actually jump up and do some jumping jacks. I'm not going to bore you with that. Also have a coffee. In this case, it's iced coffee. Um, with uh, creamer, I don't always put that much creamer, but it, you know it's it's um, a Saturday weekend, whatever. So, all right, so let's go play and see who we get. You know, I'm from the USA, and so a lot of times if I'm playing at, at a normal time, I get a USA person, but we'll see who I get. All right, this is I don't recognize that flag, Albania. All right, and I have white, so I get to go first. I'm just going to play pretty conservatively. Uh, okay, so he's going to go with uh, I don't know what he's going to go with. That's not really Kara Khan, is it? Mm, I don't think so. All right, so I'm going to go here. French defense knight variation is what the engine calls it. So he did that. So I can go ahead and um, what do I want to do? I can protect it. I, we could have a queen exchange early in the game. I really hate to do that, but to be honest. So what we'll do is we'll just do this. And that way, I get a piece going, and I can uh, I can take that, and I think that's a good good idea. And I forgot I wasn't playing daily games. When you make a move in the regular games, the move is actually made, so that's a little embarrassing. I forgot that. So he moves his knight up. Good. He's he's getting conservative as well. All right. So we're going to put a oh man. So we're going to put this up. I just don't want to. I don't want to have a queen exchange. So he did that. He did that, and I know that I should protect my bishops over my knights. But I got to tell you. I really like my knights over my bishops at this point. And understand that, you know, that's a weakness. All right, so look at this. I have to do, make another move. So I'm violating a lot of principles here by having to move a piece over and over again uh, in the opening moves. I really hate to do that. Uh, what else can I do? I have to move this knight out of the way. I can move it here or here or here, here, and, of course, here. In there, so I got a lot of options. So I think I'm going to move here. I think I'll castle on this side if he gives me a little bit of space. Man, I'm, I'm burning up my time talking. I'm going to have to be more careful with that. All right, so he goes there. And then, of course, if I move this pawn up, so I'm going to move this pawn here so I can have something in the center for fun. And I've lost my white bishop, so I can't threaten that knight. That's annoying. He's thinking, okay, look at that. He's gonna he's gonna go after that knight. So what can I do with this knight? Uh I can go here and force him to move that pawn. Doesn't really get me anything. It actually helps him develop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue development. If he takes, um I'll probably take I'll probably take with the outside pawn so I can have control of this file. So I don't know if that's a good decision or not. So we're gonna go here. He has a full minute more than me i got to quit all this talking. All right. Oh, he threatens it that way. That's fine. Cool. So I get to go somewhere anyway. So I could go to the middle. Don't know why I want to do that. I, I'm so tempted to go here. But we're going to go ahead and go... Uh, man, that would be so much fun to go there and threaten that pawn. Because if I, if I go here, then I can go here and I have two pieces. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Never mind. All right. So we're going to move here. All right. And I could have taken the pawn. I just realized I could have taken the pawn. Oh, but I wouldn't have anything on it. Never mind. That wouldn't have worked. So he's thinking. He doesn't think very long. Okay, moved his queen. Have no idea why he moved his queen there. That makes no sense to me. Hmm. So I don't really have a lot. I'm going to go ahead and castle. Let's get that done. He moves his bishop, so he's going to castle somewhere. 
I could take a piece for fun. If I uh, if I take this piece, no, he'll take with his queen and it's still protected. I was trying to get a free pawn. We're both even at the moment, so that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm just going to get this. Uh, I'm going to get this bishop out. Now I got to watch my time. He castles. All right, so we have uh, castling on both the different sides. That's kind of interesting. I can go here. That doesn't help anything. So if I if I put my queen here, I double up on this pawn, and uh, he'll probably if he sees it, which hopefully he will, and, and want to protect against it. Uh, I, I say hopefully tongue in cheek. Oh look, he's gonna he's gonna come that way. He's gonna come uh, pawn storm. Great. Well, let's just take this. Yay! I'm I'm a piece ahead. So he goes there. So we've got a lot of problems going on here. So we could trade queens. I'm tempted to trade queens because I'm in trouble with this pawn storm. I don't have a lot of pawn storm going on. So we're going to, if I go here, let's just go there temporarily. Let's just go, go right there. So uh, he's going to take this queen or not. Uh, I can't take that because I can't take that or this or that. He can't put me in check. Uh, I could sacrifice a knight. Sometimes that's fun to do, and uh, it would, uh, you know, I, I would uh, be one point behind. Actually, I'd be even again if I traded a knight for two pawns. So that's a thought. But that would free him up to have a lot of fun on this side of the board. Let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, he's got two minutes on me now. Two and a half. I'm gonna have to fix it. Yep. So here we have trouble. So I'm going to go here and threaten his pieces. I have two on his uh, bishop. You'll have to take. He did. Yeah, so I'm going to go here. Not happy with the way things are working out, folks. He's after my knight. That's fine. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna double up on his bishop. And of course, he goes there. That's that's. Oh, that's an excellent move. Look at that. All right, we're gonna go protect that pawn. Yep, that's a good move. I'm in trouble, folks. I am definitely in trouble. But I get a free pawn. All right, see what he does. He does that. So you know what I'm going to go ahead and do here because he's lost his green bishop. I don't want him coming in on the side like that. I don't know. Should I do one or the other? I'm just not sure. I don't know. I don't know which is best. We'll do that one. But his white bishop is there and caused me a lot of trouble. I have my knight here, but it's on white. I have a possibility of getting pigs on the 7th. I need to do something over here with a pawn storm. Of course, he sees that. So if we go here, I really, I really am in a lot of trouble. So if I go here, uh, I could go there, but that really doesn't do me much. All he has to do is double up, and then he gets a free knight. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm in trouble. So i got to do something. So let's move the knight over here and see what we can do for causing trouble on this side of the board. Okay, so it's going to go after that pawn. Uh, great, let's go after this bishop. Alright, so now... Wow, we all he has to go there and I'm in checkmate. That is not good. So we're gonna have to just for just for grins and whatever, we're gonna have to go here. Yeah, look at that. Alright. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so we're definitely having trouble here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the uh, eighth row with my king. Get him out of the way to a degree. I've got a few protected pieces, a few that aren't so protected. Need a plan. I don't have a plan. So if I could get my knight, see here and there. Oh, he's going after that pawn, of course. So I could put my my rook here and start playing this way, I suppose. I don't have a decent way. I feel like I feel like I lost the game. So psychology is yucky, okay? So if you feel like you lost the game, you won't take as many risks. And I probably should have taken a risk. Oh, I think it's going there. All right, so uh, that's okay then. So we're going to go here. Okay, he's going down uh, for there. That's interesting. I'm not sure why he did that. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, see what kind of trouble we can cause for his king. We're going to go up on white now. We're going to play with the green here because he doesn't have... All right, look at that. So he did that. So I need to be able to do something. So my my knight is kind of, you know, paralyzed here uh, because of the various things. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. He has twice as much time as I do. Oh, oh I put my king in check. Of course. Oh, and he threatened my... He's going to take my pawn. How sad is that? I did not see it. I did not see it. Well, I'm going to go here, back where I was. And I'm just going to start advancing my pawn. So it's going to go there. What's he going to do next? I don't know. Let's do this. So he goes there. That's good. Okay, so maybe I can have a little bit of a pond storm. Well, one pond storm. It's not much. All I have is a knight and a rook. And a king, and of course he passes, which is fine. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna lose on time if I'm not careful. Yay! He blundered a rook. We have hope, folks. He'll have to put his bishop here, but I can get my. Uh, I can do something. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to take this pawn here unless he protects it. So let's see what we can do. We can go here. If I take his bishop, I can get a queen and, and, and uh, win the game. Maybe. Ah, oh, he's closer now. His bishop is pinned. Ah, oh, he noticed it. Okay, great. So we have trouble. We have to go here. Yep, we got trouble, folks. Definitely have trouble. So we're going to go here. Oh, I can't go there. Of course not. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to go here. <laughs> I have two minutes. He has four. All he has to do is just take his time. And Oh, I can't take that. How frustrating is that? Okay. Oh, I could No, I couldn't have. I couldn't have. Yes, I could have. No, that wouldn't have worked. All right. So we are going to uh, see. What can we do? We can advance this one more. And get it closer. 
course, he goes there, which is a, a very wise thing to do. So we can, uh, what can we do about that? Uh, we can't take this out of the way. We can't move that. We can't move this. We're kind of stuck. We can abandon and we could take all these other, uh, these other pawns and, and go up here and do that. Of course, I would have, I'd have, you know, one, two, three, four. I'd have a bunch of moves and he only has to move his king over a little bit to cause me trouble. But he'd have to take this pawn or whatever. So I think maybe I'll go ahead and uh, go for the gold. We'll see what happens. All right, we're going to go for the gold. It didn't, uh, oh, he just hit my pawn. Okay. All right, so I have to move this here. Take that. Less than a minute. And of course he is uh, all he has to do is take his time. All right, got a queen. How quickly can I put him in checkmate? We'll see. Yep, that's fine. Uh, so let's move this here. So we have to we have to get him to move over to the side of the board. We have to get my king over there. Uh, let's see. We have to do this. We have to do this, and we have to do, actually, I did it wrong, this, and this, 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 and checkmate. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. So that was so mentally draining. So draining. If he hadn't blundered that rook, and if I hadn't seen it, obviously I'd have been toast. Look at this. Nine mistakes, four blunders, one miss. Really? I All that? So annoying. But I got 15 points, and I went up a little bit of my uh, elo. Uh, I, got with that. I have no idea what these little cups mean. I need to learn more about uh, Anyway, I always say good sport, or good game, and then say uh, good game. I don't always do that, but I uh, try to. Okay, so let's go do a game review. While I decompress and get happy again, I have no idea how long I've been recording. You may be really tired, I don't know. But look at this. You can see here that uh, when, whatever move that was, <laughs> Black had the advantage. But White, White was over half uh, the advantage for quite a while, especially there in the end game. Uh, my accuracy was a whopping 62.5%. His was 61.4. So it wasn't a really great game accuracy-wise. So when I start the review, I like to click Start and go for uh, see how many book moves we had. Um, French Defense opening activates the knight by developing it off the starting square. This is a French Defense opening, and it says I played this opening seven times this white with a 71% win rate. So I don't know how Chess.com figures this out. I think that the, what the position black has is the French defense. So it says that I had played against the French defense with a 71% win rate. I'm not sure if that's what that means. I really need more training on chess.com. Of course, we have some master games, etc. If you click here, it'll go for the next important move. I don't want to do that. I'm going to look at each move. So I moved here, and uh, the engine likes that. It's got a little green square. He goes here, and he forks my pieces, but that's okay because I can take. I take... And, of course, he takes and I take. So we're just having a, you know, a taking party here. So he threatens. So, really, he's still in control of the game, and he's black. So the black side of the board was able to have a lot of control in this game. I move back here. Uh, I kind of like having both my knights here when I castle on this side. I think that's kind of cool. 
Uh, of course, we've got this pawn here causing me all kinds of trouble. Maybe I should have castled on the other side. I don't know. We had so much going on over here. Oh, I didn't think about it. All right, he gets his knight out. I move this up, and that is an inaccuracy. You overlooked an opportunity to castle kingside. You allowed your opponent to kick a knight. Well, that's true. I did not castle like I should have, and then he's going to kick my knight, and I'm going to have to do something. But the reason I did this, I wanted to get this up here and have some, you know, I wanted to get, you know, some more fun in those squares. All right, so he comes, and now he's, he's after my knight with his bishop. That's annoying, so I do go ahead and take the center like I wanted to do. And uh, it says d4 is excellent at that point. He kicks here. I go there, I, which is a star, one of my best moves. And uh, then he moves his queen up. And that's considered a good move. I finally castle. And then he goes there. I have no idea why he went there. Uh, really don't know. Anyway, so I go here, and of course, that's an inaccuracy. It says, I missed an opportunity to eventually win material. How in the world could I have won material? That's another thing I really uh, regret about uh, about chess.com. And maybe you all can help me on this, because it says it's an inaccuracy. This allows the opponent to eventually win material. How would that be? So I'm going to show moves. Well, I don't know. Forget that. I don't. I don't understand that at all. That's just. I don't. I don't see that. I don't see that if I, if I put my knight up, or that if I put my pawns up, that's what he would do. I just don't get that at all. I don't get that. That's the the way he would move if I move my if my put my pawns up. Anyway, I was focusing on uh, getting a battery on this pawn so I can get a point up. So that's why I moved here. And the engine is like, oh, that's an inaccuracy. All right, it's fine. All right, so he moves his pawn up. And the, the engine questions it, but he probably had a plan too. So I get this pawn. He takes, I take. So I'm a pawn up. Yay. And at this point, white is a little above the line, so that's kind of cool. Threatens my queen, and so I have to decide what I want to do with my queen. Um, you know, you get, you've got a lot of options with your queen. Uh, anything from hiding out to repositioning yourself or whatever. I decided to see if he wanted to trade queens. And, uh, huh. All right, then. So he takes, I take, and so we've uh, we've traded queens. He goes here, and that is so frustrating. So I could have gone over the side, you know, a, a, a rook, I mean, a, a knight on the rim is dim. I think I've heard that a million times. So I went there, and is going to take my knight, perhaps, and um, I considered taking that bishop, and boy, I kind of wish I had, because that bishop was a bane to me uh, later in the game. He takes, I take, and then he moves his pawns up. So I really need to have two pieces on this pawn so I can take it. So I, I move this piece up. Uh, so now uh, uh, it doesn't like me moving that pawn up. Uh, interesting. Like that is not the way I should have gone. So I wonder what move I should have taken. So in a case like this, I trick it because it doesn't tell me what the move is. You know, I just says the move is, that's a bad move. Show moves doesn't do anything. It just shows his next move. Well, that's no good. So I need to know how to find out what a good move is. Uh, so his move was good, but my move wasn't good. It's a mistake. So if I go back, yeah, actually, if I go to mistake and then show moves, it doesn't. It actually not does not show me what to do. So if if it says that that my move is bad, if I if I go back and make a different move, let's say H3 was played. Inaccuracy, uh, rook. To D1 is best. Oh, okay. All right. So, so what I should have done is move my rook to D1. Oh, look at that. Then I'm doubling up on this, uh, on this guy. Well, I wish I had seen that. Wow. All right. I was wrong. The engine was right. That was a bad move. So he moves here to threaten my knight, but my knight's protected by my pawn. I'm not too concerned about it. So um, I still had a chance to move my bishop over there. So I do move my bishop here finally, and he gets it out of the way and threatens my bishop at the same time. Get my bishop out of the way, and he goes here. I can't decide what to do here. I really can't decide. It's a problem. I'm just going to be exposing my king. I don't know what I'm going to do. He's got this white bishop here that's caused me all kinds of trouble. So, uh, wow, what's, what's the, what in the world? So I go down here to, see, to get my knight into the party. If I could only have taken my knight there, could I have done that? 
What'd it take to get my knife here? I don't know. So I would have had to go here. I don't know. Anyway, so I go here and take this pawn. He takes, I take, and so I'm two points ahead. And that was considered a bad move. All right. So let's see if this was, would have been a better move. Yeah. It would have been better to take it on the outside. Okay. All right. I can see that now. I, I couldn't see it at the time. So now I know. So that's the kind of thing you do when you review the game. You get a thing that you do. Next time, you're going to do it different. So um, so now I tell you just how the game went. Look at that. White is going down the tubes. Look at that. I'm, I'm way down below half. All right, so he goes to uh, threaten my knight. So what am I going to do? I decide to go down. That wasn't a good move. F3 is best. Oh, he says I should have protected my knight with my pawn and, uh, and gone that route. Wow. That's what I should have done. Okay. I don't like that at all. Because then if I move this knight, then this pawn is exposed. Hmm. I don't know. But, you know. I'm learning. I'm learning. I, I, I'm now at 9.35. I was lower earlier, right? Or was it 9.35 for this game? I don't know. I've been close to 1,000 recently and dropped back down through uh, excessive uh, nighttime gameplay. F3 is best. Okay, so he moves his uh, rook down. So annoying because he's going to take this pawn. But if I m move this here, then uh, it threatens his bishop, so he has to move it. And it, it, this says I should have moved my knight here. That moved my knight there and protected the pawn at the same time. Wish I would have thought of that. I didn't think of it. So I moved that up. He moves his bishop up here. And now I realize the horror. I've got a bishop here and a rook there. And that's checkmate. That is absolute checkmate. All I have to do is, is not pay attention. And it's just going to be um, toast. So I move my king here. And, I, and black has all the advantage. Isn't that funny? Oh... If I had moved my knight here, then he couldn't have been able to do that. If he, he couldn't move his bishop down here anymore. Of course, he could put both of his bishops here and, um, and then come and put me in checkmate. I just saw too many, too many possibilities. But, wow, I didn't, see the, I didn't see all the opportunities. So I moved my king here, which was, gives me like zero chance of winning. And he puts me in check. I move here. And, of course, forced is forced to move takes and that was considered an inaccuracy uh he thinks he should have gone back and it was an inaccuracy because it it uh, uh i'm at a disadvantage all right he uh goes here and we take an exchange he takes my pawn which is so sad i get my king out of the way he says i should have put my king over here really okay and so then um he goes over here and uh caused me trouble so I go to protect that pawn, and he goes here. That was there's just no reason for that. So I go here to kick his uh, rook. He comes down here to, to threaten my knight, but I don't think it's a problem. So I'm going to go advance as best I can. And so I go here uh, to uh, to see what I can do, get more in the game. He goes here to put me in check and forks my pawn. I didn't see that. Oh, that was so frustrating. So I get out of check. This says I should have gone here. I don't want to go to a white square. It's too easy for him to put me in check again. But the engine says I should have done that. Okay, he goes here, so I'm just going to go here. It says I should have gone here. Not sure why. He takes a great move. So I decide to start advancing a pawn. He moves here. Who knows why? So I advance this pawn up to kick the bishop. Puts the bishop here. And I keep advancing this pawn. And he just advances. That's very smart on his part. So I just keep advancing my pawn. He goes up here, and I take. So that was probably the that was probably the turning point that I actually saw it. A lot of times I don't see that. All right, the psychology of the game. You know, I'm feeling lost. You know, before this move, um, there we go. So I am down uh, below half, feeling despondent, like crud. It's over. It's going to take my pawns. He's got more pawns than me. Blah, blah, blah. I was stupid to keep my knight. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I was kicking myself. All right. So anyway, he takes here. I mean, he goes there. I take. And now I am, you know, way closer to winning. He takes. So I advance my pawn. And then I get my rook here. I'm going to start taking his pawns out. And he sees it. 
And so I go here so I can get behind my... Um, I, I realized if I took here, if you let me take here, he would go there. And then I could go there, and he could go there. No, I w it would it would have been a bad move, wouldn't it? Anyway, so um, he goes here, gets this king one closer to my pawn. So I, I, I go here to try to protect my pawn. Didn't quite make it. Really, g7 is best. Really. Oh, look what ha would have happened. If I had advanced my pawn... He would have had to take it, and I would have got his rook, I mean his bishop, and I would have had a rook and uh, a couple of pawns, and I would have won the game a lot easier. Oh my goodness, I just didn't see that. So that's the kind of thing, you review the game to get over your psychology, get over your sick self, and figure out what to do. And you know, this is my this little gift that my uh, my son gave me was like three years old, you know, he said, Dad, I want you to have this. It was really sweet. So anyway, uh, I hope you don't think I'm crazy to have a little stuffed toy. Uh, old men don't have stuffed toys, right? Well, we do, we do. We're sentimental. All right, so I, I didn't do that. Uh, so uh, so he goes here, and I go there. Dumb move. Ugh, what else could I have done? If I had taken this, he would have taken. I would have taken. He would, no, that wouldn't have worked. All right, so anyway, I, I move my rook there, and then he goes down. I think, crud, I'm in serious trouble now. So uh, he says go up. He goes here. So I go here, and I think I'm going to take... The pawns. I can't take the pawns. How frustrating is that? So I'd go ahead and advance one more. And he goes here, which is pretty good, I think. So this says I should have taken my rook up one. I move my king up there so that uh, I can hopefully take... So I get this. Oh, I remember what I did. Sure, I just decided to take all the pawns and everything. So he takes this, and then I, I go here. He goes here, and so then I go ahead and take that, and I'm getting more pawns, and I take this, and now he has to move his pawn. Gives me a chance to get the queen. Look at our time! Four minutes to 52 seconds! Oh my goodness, I was so tense! And so then I get my king up, and uh, I, uh, I go ahead and take this pawn. He's in the corner. He's hoping for a stalemate. So then he goes here, and I go here, and I get him where I want him, more or less, and then I move my king over, and with 26 seconds to spare, win the game. Oh my goodness. All right. Next up, I have uh, I have a couple of queen traps to show you. So here is the first queen trap. Everything looks normal. Queen's pawn up. You put your king's pawn. You're giving away a pawn. Your opponent's probably going to take it. You put your bishop up. You can even scratch your head if you're playing one-on-one -on -one and think, wow, I'm not sure what to do. So you kind of fool your opponent into thinking that you don't have a plan. Well, you do have a plan. You move your pawn up and it's like, well... <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll take another free pawn. So he takes the pawn. Then instead of taking the pawn, you scratch your head for a little while and maybe maybe do this as a pre-move and they think that you moved it without thinking. Whatever. And they take your, your knight. Why not? It's a fantastic play. And so then you play the surprise attack. <laughs> you put your bishop here and check this king. The king has to get out of check. He's in check here. He can't move there. So he has to move here to take the uh, bishop. And he does that, and then you get the queen. And that is a fantastic queen trap. And that it works really well. So here is a, another queen trap, and this time you're playing as white. And so you move your queen's pawn up. Your opponent moves their queen's pawn. You move your king's pawn up, and they take. Very normal, very normal moves so far. You go to, to attack this pawn with your knight. And they defend it with their knight. You go here to uh, cause further trouble. And they take the pawn. You take with your queen. And uh, very normal stuff so far. But you left a pawn undefended. Oh, no. And so they take that pawn. So you go to kick the queen. The queen goes here. That's a very uh, big problem for you if the queen takes that. So you castle. Protects that pawn. Great. Well, then your next surprise move. Uh, is their surprise move, actually, where they pin your queen and your rook, and they think they've really got you, and you think, crud, I've really lost it. It's really not going to work now. Good grief, what am I going to do? And so you just move your knight up. And so the queen has to can't take it because this bishop is protecting the knight. And so uh, the, the, the bishop can still take the queen 
if, if they do, it's toast because all this knight has to do is go here and it's checkmate. The king can't move anywhere. Uh, you know, there's a piece and this is in check. That's in check. And this knight puts him in check where he is sitting. So there's not a lot of options for black at this time. So black can take here and it's checkmate. But what else could they do? They could decide to sacrifice the queen. And you take here and you got the queen and you accomplished your goal. You got your queen. So uh, you, and the king is in check. And that gives you a way to uh, move out of check by, uh, you know, uh, you still might lose your knight or whatever. But, but, but the king has to move out of check and uh, can't move out of check there. Oh, it's checkmate. Sorry. So everything leads to checkmate. I didn't, I didn't realize it was a checkmate. Uh, oh, wait. That, this, this is a, a, a move right here. All right. So that is good. I suppose this would be not checkmate either. You go here, and you go here and get that. So, I mean, there's just a lot of things that that, uh, that could happen here. There's just not a lot of good moves for, uh, for black when you've got them in this particular situation. So go ahead and set this up and have fun with it. And uh, you, too, can cause the same kind of incredible trouble with your opponents as well. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this is valuable to you or not. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much. Bye.